Good day and welcome to your favorite program on TV, Plot Spot. As usual, today will not be different when it comes to excitement, when it comes to talking to a special guest on the program today. We'll be looking at one guest uh, talking so much on football on today's program, and uh, one guest who has seen it all when it comes to football, um, an ex-international. He has played um, so much of football career in England, and um, he has belonged to the Soje dynasty, who the family, the brothers have done so well when it comes to football for Nigeria and also in England. I'm talking, you, you know there are four of the brothers or more of the four, more than four of the brothers, but I guess you will know who this is. So until I'll introduce Sam Soji, who'll be joining me um, to discuss so many um, issues on football. Good morning, Soji. Good morning, thank you for having me. But, um, I want to want to know that you just flew into the country some hours ago. And we appreciate the fact that um, you made it on time. Thank you, thank you. I just, I just got in from London. Okay, now let, let's start with um, your nephew. I mean, is there a deliberate effort to have the soldiers on football or in sports? Because um, it, it seems that um, there we have your nephew playing for the under-23 um, Manchester City, uh, playing for under-20, and he's doing, doing so well, a striker, scoring so many goals from under-23 Manchester um, City. We, 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 I, I begin to wonder that um, is it more a sporting family? Because we thought you've had the best of the best for you and your brothers, you know, for doing so well for Nigeria and also for, for England. But we, all of a sudden we have Ty um, who is there. Is it a deliberate effort to make sure the soldiers play football? Um, you know, I, I want to say the I think it's in the gene. I think my mom did sports, my dad did uh, football, and um, it just, it just, uh, we're just lucky to be uh, sport people in the family. And I think Ty is doing well right now. We've got two other ones coming through, so so <laughs> we'll be around for a while. Um, but yeah, one, we're going to sport. I think soldiers are always, um, you know, we always come out with footballers. Okay, now let's look at the man, um, the 18 years old. Um, um, England born Nigeria. His father is um, named from Nigeria, but his mother is English, correct me if I'm right. And um, he, there's so much issue whether he should play for England or he should play for Nigeria. Um, tell us a bit about your nephew and um, how he came across um, football. Oh no, I, I don't like talking about him because I, I, I think his, his football will tell, his football will speak for himself. But when it comes to playing for Nigeria or playing for England, it's different. It's different because I grew up in, uh, though I was born in London, I grew up in Nigeria. So I, I kind of uh, know Nigeria, wanted to play for Nigeria. Well, he's different. He, he was born there, grew up there, so uh, he's going to be different. But he's got uncles that has played for the country and I will told him before that uh, we... He has to uh, play for Nigeria. Play for Nigeria. So, man, hopefully, fingers crossed, he, he plays for Nigeria. But uh, he's a good player, very good player. Okay, very good player. So now um, it's very difficult for us to really separate you, who has done so well for the country with your brother, from him because you know um, right now the popularity between both sides, especially a lot of people don't know him yet, and um, though he has been doing so well, um, I, I, we still still going to focus on him. Um, I heard um, he has um, turned down offer from um, the England under 19 with the hope that in future that he will play for Nigeria. And he said that um, he wants to concentrate on club football. Ty Soji, as um, your nephew, not now in terms of football, tell us a little bit about the lad because obviously in the future we want to know so much about him. Yeah, yeah, because he's a typical Nigerian, because his dad is Nigerian, so um, he's Nigerian as well. So he's a good player, he's quick, and he's a typical striker who scored goals, and um, he's doing so well. Uh, you know, recently he's been struggling with injuries, and but he's getting back, uh, playing well, and, 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 you know, I'm so proud of him. But when it comes to playing for Nigeria or England, as an as, as uncle, because he's my godson as well, so as an uncle, I always advise him, it's better he plays for Nigeria, but at the moment he's concentrating on being a professional player, being a, a Premier League player, a, a well-known name, that's the main target now. Um, but when it comes, when the time comes, I'm very sure he will listen to his uncle and uh, he, will, he will choose Nigeria to play for Nigeria. But yeah, it's better that he plays for Nigeria because he'll get more games, you know, he, he will experience playing for a, a national team, 
in a different way. But I have to make him come to Nigeria to see how passionate the, the fans are for, for him to really enjoy playing for Nigeria. Uh, in one of some reports online, we have the fact that he, he said he has been listening to the advice of his uncles, and I'm sure you came to my mind, um, if he also came to my mind, and um, that sounds like a very cool nephew to have, saying that um, he listened to you. And what, So w what have you, the soldiers, if he, Sam, and the rest has been telling him? Because, you know, you've seen the future, you've been there in England, in Nigeria, and um, you are in a better position to enable him do much better than, um, yeah. greater than what you guys have done for the country and for England. What, what, what advice, and I'm sure this advice you're giving him is also going to extend to those also coming, you understand, upcoming to, to because we also have the case of um, Iwobi and his uncle, um, Osino Kocha, and we know that uh, from reports, Osino Kocha actually advised Alex Iwobi to play for Nigeria and all that. So what advice are you also giving as an uncle um, to Tai um, in relating to his future? Well, it's easy, it's easy. Um, you know, especially now that, that the national team is um, well organized, you know, um, uh, the days are gone where the national team wasn't organized, you know. Uh, right now, I think we're getting together and it's very easy for, for foreign players he won't be the first person uh, to to be born in London or born in, uh, abroad to play for Nigeria. I, I was born in London, but it's different. It's different. Um, we have to um, acknowledge that he has not, not not been to Nigeria before. But he's got myself and Ife as well, who have been there, done it, and uh, he he does listen. And he's a very smart kid. Um, he love he love football. He loves he loves his African side as well. So uh, we're looking forward to him taking his decision. But it all matters to him. Well, I'm sure he will listen to what I say and uh, make sure he plays for Nigeria because the passion he will get playing for Nigeria is different. Um, you know, playing for England, yes, they, 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 there's nothing wrong with that. But uh, he's doing so well so far. So I'm not pushing him. I'm just, I'm just going to explain to him how important it is for him and his family to play for Nigeria. Okay, interesting. Uh, th this topic will always come more often, more often all the time because, you know, we, we, it's a futuristic player. It's a player that Nigeria will want to have. Um, um, f in the future, but has have there been any contact from Nigeria, maybe perhaps through you, or perhaps through himself, anyone you know about trying to um, seek for his um, his um, acceptance to play for the Super Eagles or even for the under twenty three, or as the case may be, have there been any contact or any request from the NFF or from the coach to you to to have him say yes to the country? No, not really. Um, I think there's no need for that. I, I think right now it's just the dream of playing for, for his football club. Um, when, when, time calls, when he's doing so well for his club, I'm sure they will call him. Um, we don't need to push anything. We don't need to uh, sell anything. I, I know how it works in Nigeria, but there's no need for that. If you're good enough, you will play. And I think it's, it's so good. It, it will be a talent, a, a, a very good um, addition if he can play for Nigeria. And I've told him before, he will enjoy it. Uh, so there's no need of me going to the NFF, you know. I'm, I'm happy the way things are now because it would be so easy for me to sell the national team to him because um, things are being done properly at the moment with, with the new NFF president. So uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, um, things stay the same and he, he decided to play for Nigeria. Okay, lastly, before we go to the next topic, um, still on him, not, not, not really on him, but, but for people in that category, do, uh, questions from Nigerians, one will ask, do you take England or the country to born, uh, do you take Nigeria, do you take Nigeria as a second option? How does it come for most people? Does it differ? People say, people tend to reject um, um, after England, perhaps, or Germany, wherever they were born, as its first option, but maybe because the the country didn't take them. That's why they tend to look for the African countries, maybe like Ghana or Nigeria, as a second yeah. option. Because, you know, people ask, will somebody say categorically say no to the three lions? Will somebody say categorically say no to the German national theme or the Span Spanish national theme? How does it come for most people? Does it, is it that um, the African country comes as a second option when they know that they can't get um, their preferred country um, as um, as a first option, no, that's a very good good, good question. But for the soldiers, is different. Um, I grew up in Nigeria. I came to Nigeria when I was four years old. So I grew up here. I, I all I know was Olise, Okocha, uh, Yekini. So so I I never ever thought of playing for England. So I'm I'm coming from a different side of uh, the picture because I never thought of playing for England, even though I was born there. When it comes to Thai, 
I don't think that we, um, we do that. We, uh, we put Nigeria as a second option because he's, he's more of a Nigerian kid and he's got uncles who have done it, you know, play with the national team and he will appreciate playing for Nigeria. Well, I, I get what you're saying. There's a lot of players who wait for the, the English side or wait for the German side uh, to come through. If it doesn't come through, then they, they set up for the African side. Well, no, uh, with the soldiers, I think it's different. I think we're more proud to, to be Nigerians. Like you see, I'm always in Nigeria, lovely country. Um, I had no, no opinion of playing for uh, England at all. Love playing for Nigeria. I'm sure that would, that, that would be the same thing with Ty. Um, he would want to play for Nigeria from, from get-go. It doesn't matter if England comes or not. If he decides to play for Nigeria.